get the mic a little bit better situated get a little bit closer to me oh that's too heavy how's it going y'all i uh i had fully planned to do this uh talk with you guys after the video came out but i'm really excited to go play it and um also the video was supposed to come out before uh the one that orthogonal caster made for me but it didn't because it's rendering right now because i ended up spending like an hour talking about the book it's good does anyone in my community actually care about this book probably not but i figured i'd talk about it just in case if someone here does um i accidentally spilled water on this as well uh are we having the talk.tm if the talk is about boys you know and how they're great um I'm just checking to see if there's anything in here that's worth talking about. So this is the, uh, they gave you a pack of cards so you could like have references. Uh, unless if you're an extreme nerd like me who is almost entirely uh, memorized all of this information. This is stratagems, psychic powers. Cool, cool. Cool, whatever. Uh, I never really care about the cards, I'll be honest. Alright, who here actually plays Warhammer? Anyone? <laughs> Look at my new toys. I got two posters. I'm gonna put them here. They're nice. Where did I put the, uh, instructions? Did I put the instructions? I was going to get the instructions on uh, how to build these guys, but I don't know where they are. Oh, they're at the bottom. I also want to check and see how many war bikers I've got, because I'm pretty sure I've got six. Uh, two of which are unbuilt, because I bought them to Kitbash a war boss on war bike, who's still good. Um... I'm so frantic today, dude. Like I was, I was like, oh my God, are they going to sell my pre-order? And then I didn't see it out. And I'm like, oh my God, did they? It's out. Yeah, sort of. Um, it came out today, kind of. So, um, see it's got the size measurements of everything uh oh the knob squig is on a 90 mil i didn't realize that hey guys air orthogonal um And then this, why would you ever use the thump gun, honestly? All right. So I got the codex in hand. So if anyone's got any questions about it, if you guys play, uh, I am here to answer them. Um, and in the meantime, I'll probably be working on models. So first things first, how many war bikers do I actually own? Um, I believe I own five that are made. What does it smell like, the Codex? It smells like new book. I'm actually realizing that no one in this community actually plays Warhammer. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I've got five war barkers okay cool i'm gonna have to fix my list so we'll probably just have like a, a four pack um cause for some reason i thought i had more but actually uh thousand suns look good uh they they i'm excited about the new models and such um 
So who do we want to build first? Do we want to build Beast Snagga Boys and the Knob or um, this crazy fella? Can I show you guys? Does it have pictures of everybody? Oh, dude, the video that I put out, like, or am going to put out once this is done rendering, is just me gushing about this book, dude. I am so hype about this book. You have no idea. I'm half tempted to cut the stream here and just go play. Um, let's see. Yeah. Let me see if I can grab the box. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We can build any of these dudes. We can build any of these guys. We got the worthless guy, the boys, the knob on Smash the Squig, and the uh, Squig Hob boys. Um, what are you guys feeling? Any chance for a match with chat? Um, oh, you mean like we did the other day? I don't think that would work. Touch the book. The book is good. Good feel. You like the Smasher Squig? Okay. I like him too. I don't know if he's good or not. Uh, so I figured that one out. Okay, let's do a Smasher Squig then. Hey, Natalie, how are you doing? What's up? I'm being a massive nerd, which is, you know, as you know, pretty much the standard. Okay, let's see. For, so first off, thing I like to check is I like to check and see if there's any bits that are going to make it hard for me to uh, put this together. Yeah, the instructions come in color now. Um, specifically if like you're going to switch things out or whatever. Let's see. All right. Oh, another kill team with uh, chat. Well, the new kill team got announced. Um, so I'm kind of like, oh, maybe we should wait until. Oh, yeah, there are a lot more detailed. Just trying to see if there's like any inner bits that I'm going to have a hard time with. Like that the boss pole comes default as uh, snake bite. It's like no, you guys, guys, you can run them as whatever. All right. So does he have weapon options, or is it pistol or big chopper? Because I don't see any reason that I would ever not use the the chopper over the the thing. I'm really excited for that kit. That kit's going to be great. It doesn't look like there's any fiddly inside bits uh, that we got to worry about. So that's good. <sighs> Just keep you guys company until this video uh, gets done rendering. Knob on Smash the Squig. Let's see. He's equipped with a Slugger, Big Choppa, and... Okay, so he just has it. So I can choose to either have his uh, gun up or his Choppa up. Uh, either way, he has both. Okay, cool. So do I want him to be holding his gun up or his axe up? Tactically speaking, the gun up takes less, like, height. But I feel like the chopper would look cooler. You know? Though the arm for the chopper is meat, not bion like bionic. Let's not worry about that bit yet. Let's worry about the rest of it. Okay, let's start at the very beginning. 
Just looking over the uh, instructions real quick. Okay, cool. So first things first, uh, 13A. So it's going to be this guy and this guy alone. Let's see. Trimmers. Clippers. Where are you at? Ah, there you are. Right. new edit is in the playlist i will fix that right now thank you uh, uh yeah it's not there you go save changes and fixed still had that play thing up so i intended on doing it at some point but just didn't all right c 73 And C72. It's gotta be this guy. Just wasn't labeled as C73. Or it is, but it's just in a weird spot. Still one right there. The axe does look cooler. Honestly, like, the squigs have grown on me, you know? Uh, they have. Like, the aesthetic of them and all. Super grown on me. I feel like I also need to rebase all my boys, because they are uh, still on 25s. I bought some... Uh, I bought some stuff for them, so I can, but... Or new bases, but... Just haven't gotten around to it. So I kind of need to paint all of those, all the bases up so we can do that. Gluing them on is actually not that big of a hassle, but just, you know, I got to do it. I still think that boys are good. I know a lot of people were afraid that the, uh, the beast nagas would completely replace them. I was as well, but I don't think that that's the case at all. Um... I think they're fine. I should probably eat today too. Got so excited. I woke up like first thing this morning. It's like Christmas day, man. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, get this all together. I'm gonna get out the door. I'm gonna get there in time. And I'm standing out front, like at the time they open, just hanging out with a small crowd of people who are waiting to get in. And I'm like, you fuckers. If you think you're going to get this box, I will kill you. What's it taste like? Uh, it, it, it's, I haven't tasted it. I would imagine it tastes like plastic. Um, okay. How fast do they melt when held over a flame? Uh, I don't know, and I'm not going to find out. I love the way that they hid the seam here. That's so good. 
Um, got little lumpies, right? It's good. All right. These two go together. Any reason I can't glue that right now? I can. Okay, cool. We're doing that. Stop playing with store manager. It was coolest dude. It was let go. Oh, that's sad. Well, what do you play, Lux? Um, it's entirely possible that it's still good. Some some armies haven't had new kits in years. Like um, Eldar haven't had new kits for long enough that their models are old enough to drink in some cases um tower kind of in the same boat i don't think they've got any new uh, models recently uh commander shadow shadow sun got a new model aside from that not so much um all right next step Legs. Oh, these guys over here, they're fine. The legs, I think I'm going to wait on the legs and I'm going to put the face together. They seem individually separated, so that's fine. There's only one face for this squig, but there are multiple helmet bits. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, a lot of places aren't doing in-person stuff still. Uh, the Texas Open is happening here in Austin right now. And I looked at the live stream feed and no one's wearing masks. And we hit stage four uh, COVID restrictions again. So it's like, oh, uh, I'm not going anywhere near that. Like, it's exciting. It's neat that that's happening. But uh, the, there's still a pandemic, my dudes. Um I'm guessing it wasn't required, but I don't know. I wear a mask everywhere I go. Um, I'm vaccinated. I'm healthy, relatively speaking. Um, I wear a mask everywhere I go. Um, I've talked about it before. I don't want to leave anything up to chance. Um, I don't want it to survive. I want I want COVID to go away. And if it doesn't have a chance to like even infect me and it not hurt me and then progress to someone else and then it infects them and that and so on and so forth, like by wearing a mask, it can pre prevent that kind of thing. So I'm gonna, you know, plus I don't want to have COVID. If I have like a little bit of a gunky throat, I'm like, ah, oh, this sucks, you know, um, like, oh man, my life sucks right now. And then there's like COVID, which is like that times a billion. It's like, nah, I'm good. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. You know? Like I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little bitch about like allergies. I will peer pressure you all into living safe, healthy lives. Get vaccinated. If you can. Are some people who legitimately can't, I think, but talk to your doctor. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff. Dark Eldar, they're really good. World Eaters, hold off on them. Uh, Elysians, they're good. Uh, I think they're still a thing. Skaven. Um, I think you could probably use the Elysians as, um, whatchamacallit, 
I think that's a thing, and I think it's one of the better ways to, like, Tempestus Scions. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I think that Elysians kind of got removed for Tempestus because they're kind of the same thing. But, uh... Do they get incorporated? Yeah. Yeah, I think um I think you just run, I mean, you know, guard is not something I know all that well, but yeah. Like generally speaking, you bring um you bring some like tanks and then you do the scion deep strike thing and then you're doing good. Like I think that's how you play guard right now, actually legitimately. And then Dark Eldar are like meta breaking, honestly, if you have Raiders and uh, Venoms and stuff like that, you're probably solid. I think World Eaters have like a really solid spot right now as far as Chaos goes, but Chaos Space Marines are kind of bad right now, which is unfortunate because they're my other army. But um, Ninth Edition is very, very melee heavy, so... I would probably skip the uh, the World Eaters until they get an actual book. Like a 9th edition book. Because the 8th edition book exists, but it's not that great. Um, I want to play World Eaters, but I'm cool with Black Templar. Black Templars are great right now. Um, they have one very special gimmicky kind of move. Is it the Trimmer Shells, then you get out of a Rhino or whatever thing. Rhino Rush Extreme Edition. I love his face. Look at him. Look at that boy. That guy's a grumpy little fuck, isn't he? It's great. All right, got him, and then I got to decide what helmet I want him to have. <sighs> Where are they? What is this thing? Wait, where are his little helmet pieces? Are they on a different sprue? I guess so. Let me go find that. Okay, there's one. There's another. And what's the other option? Okay, so it's either this one or that one. Uh, spiky or has... Have they put Lizardmen in 40k? Not yet. Okay. So my options are either this helmet bit. So... Um, Basically, impacted into this guy's skull, they put like a metal bit here. So it can either be that or that. I don't know if you guys can see even what I'm showing you. This one kind of makes it look like he's got a mohawk here. I think I'm going to go with that one.
the new Thousand Suns model looks good. Um, I expect Thousand Suns will be good. You know, Deny the Witch or whatever it's called. Um, the, um, no, it's Abhor the Witch. That's the name of it. Um, that's really strong against them. And right now they're not good enough to really justify that. Though a lot of armies are taking, like, a Psyker. The list that I'm working on in my head is going to take uh, one. It's going to be a kill rig because that model is amazing. Has some problems, and I'm a little bit worried about its durability. Seems very killable, but um, aside from the fact that it will probably die, um, seems pretty solid. Yeah, there he is with a little spiky helmet. I like that. I'm going to glue that one in. That doesn't fit quite right. I might have to green stuff that a little bit to make that fit a little better. Uh, all right, now we can look at his leggies. So we got uh, C74. Is gonna be this leg? Question mark? No, it's 85, so it's gonna be the other leg. C74. That's not it, right? It's a tiny leg. Small leg. Small leggy, where you at? Are you not on this one either? C74. Is this it? No. That's 76. I don't see it on the sprue. It's got to be on the other one. Yeah, here's 74, and that looks right. And then 75 is going to be somewhere nearby. Why isn't the High Lord of Terra there? I would run her in this list. She's good. I think everyone would run her. All right, and then where's C75? Look at the sprue density. Like, they pack so much crap onto this thing. It does make it very hard to find what I'm looking for, though. Because it's like one knuckle of his foot. It's his tongue. I haven't built models in, like, a bit. C75. I do not see him. God, there's so many. I'm looking for something that looks vaguely like a foot knuckle. No.
Is it back on this one, maybe? Yeah, there it is. It's like, why am I not finding this thing? Can orcs do any shooting? Yes, they're exceptionally bad at it, though. So the way shooting works in Warhammer is you have a ballistic skill, and then you have a gun. So let's say, like, a shooter. A shooter is going to be, like, uh, three shots, let's say, right? Um, so you take three dice, and you roll the dice, and if you get their ballistic skill or better, then it hits. So an orc ballistic skill is usually five. Um, they lost Daka 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 and they replaced it with the, uh, Daka weapon stuff. So if they're, um, outside of half range and they get less shots, it's sort of like rapid fire, but worse, but sometimes better. Um, So they have guns, they're just not good. Like, the the shooting on orcs is just something you do until you get into combat. And this book really enforces that. Like, you can't, like, build a gunline orc army as easily anymore. Though, I think there is still a way with vehicles. Uh, with the speed wall, but I haven't seen... I don't know. Not many people are, like, teching it out yet. I think once this video gets done rendering, I'll probably stop working on this and uh, upload the video. And then you guys can hear my full thoughts on it. But long story short, I think it's uh, not quite as good as AdMech, but I think it's better than a majority of the codexes that have come out so far. Which is really good news. Um, it leans itself towards my play style. What model is this? Um, give me a moment. I've got glue on my hands. Right. Cool. Uh, what model is this? this is a, why is it a video? That's Ego Angel. It's probably fine. <laughs> what the fuck? Um... That appears to be, I think it's a land raider. Do I have a screen region where I can show that? Yeah, here we go. This one will work. Turned off the music so that way it doesn't. That's good. Uh, Warmaster Horse deployed on Istvan 5. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a Land Raider to me. Some weird Skaven model. I don't know what the other bit is. Um, and this is almost done. 16 minutes. Hey, Dread, how you doing? Warhamster 40k? Very different game. Much cuter. Um, generally more loved. Um, okay. And then that guy goes there. So far, pretty easy build. Fishing up a commission. I'm really glad that you're getting a lot of commissions. Your art's so good. You should.
Poi Poi Moi Mole Hammer. <laughs> That'd be great, dude. Yeah, he's got a little kicky leg. That's good. And like that that seam is really good. Alright, and then we got two legs that are like the spring off legs. I want him to be super robotic because I want like that to be the theme of my army. So where is the robo leg? You. Dude, have you guys saw, seen Poi Poi? Um, uh, have you tried Resolve for editing stuff? It's free, and in theory, I could give you project files for editing. It's fine. Honestly, like, it forces me to go through and watch what you've done. And just make sure. It's really not worth editing out anything you do. You're doing a great job. So most of the time I just slap the intro and the outro out on. I don't know. I got my workflow, you know? So it looks like I've got, like I said, um... So do I want a kill saw knob on my war bikes? Or do I want a chopper or a power claw? I think I just want a chopper, you know? War bikes are really good right now. Um, Squig hog boys are good. It's all good, man. Like, everything in this book is good. Like, even the bad stuff, excluding Zogwart, whatever his name is. Uh, he's, he's like, I don't understand your purpose. Why are you here? What are you doing? I own him now because he came in the box, but, you know. Opinions on 3D printed Warhammer minis? I own one. Um, it's the Big Mac with KFF. And uh, it's fine. It doesn't support your local like hobby store if you have one, which is kind of bad. But aside from that, like, you know, I got a, a 3D printed KFF because GW doesn't put out KFFs anymore. Um, they're cheaper. Um, in a lot of cases, they're better quality. Gear Guts makes really solid work, um, for example. But a lot of them are like just horny for no reason. Like all of the Eldar and Sisters shit. Oh yeah, the new Ad Mac book is real nasty. What uh, would you go with? Because Lucius Horde is like the thing right now. It's like not even an unreasonable thing to own. Am I twinking it? You know it, man. Every single time you ask me. All right. And then there's another bit for his leggy. That has ground, and the ground is being moved. Okay. <sighs> ground being moved, 77. Yeah, that's you. All right, cool.
Yeah, it's a bit like going to a, a TCG shop and using like cards you printed out on, uh, you know, your printer at home. It's like kind of like crappy, but also GW makes us spend way too much. I mean, like, let's not even get into the controversy of like whatever was going on with this box in the first place. Like, I'm not about pre-ordering. You guys know this. I am, however, a huge hypocrite. And so I did anyway. But um, I think it's kind of dumb that they're like, oh, yeah, the Orc Codex. Um, yeah, I own it. Um, it's officially not released until um, two weeks from now. So it's like, what is that? It depends on if you're talking about for tournament play or if you're just doing it to hang out with your friends. If you're hanging out with your friends, dude, whatever, man. You could use chess pieces. I play on tabletop sim all the time. Um, okay, so there's two different neck options here. We have... Uh, can you see this? So we got the one where he's got his head up and the other one where he's ramming. I think I like his head up. So what this guy does, for anyone who doesn't know this, um, he helps out nearby Squig Hog Boys and also is free in the detachment if you have. Not free points-wise, but you don't have to pay the, the detachment slot. Uh, and he can, uh, whenever he charges, he does mortal wounds on a four-up. Roll five dice. So, like two-ish mortal wounds every time he charges which is fun um so a little like iron plate thing is meant to help his head because he's probably broken his skull a couple times um i think i'm gonna go with the uh option 14 and so that means c 30 okay these two have I played Monster Prom yet? I have not. I should. A proxy point system. That's interesting. It's like you can only bring so many proxies. I mean, when I used to play Magic the Gathering, I would have like a version of the card. And then I would be like, okay, all the forests in here are actually such and such. And then anytime that card would come into play, we would just like swap it out with the one that I just have on the side. Because it's like, dude, crap's expensive, man. It shouldn't be. I mean, they put a lot of R&D into it. I get it, but damn. One to three points and you had a total of 15 points to use. Sure. That seems fair. Prevents you from going too hog wild with it. Makes it fair for everyone. Especially if there's like an understood limit. Like, I mean, for me, it's also like for Warhammer, I feel like if you're going to proxy, if you're going to kit bash, don't do it crappy. Like, put some love into it. Like, my, my kill tanks, my um, war boss and war bike, those are good models. You cannot tell me otherwise. You know? Are they the official GW ones? No, because I didn't want to spend that kind of money. Are they cool looking? Yeah, because I'm a baller. Also, rip kill tanks. I don't know if they're any good anymore. Uh, so those might be cannon wagons now.
But kit bashing is fun. It is. It is. Um, it allows me to do something creatively. That's always fun. I don't know. Like, if you're going to use a proxy. Can you hold the watch face to the camera? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, Tolda gave it to me for Christmas one year. It's got, like, the skeleton watch on the inside. And then it, that little, like, bit winds it. It's nice. It's my everyday watch. It does rule. I had another one, but I was at a gallery and it slipped off my wrist and fell face first onto the ground and shattered. It was like the worst feeling. Like I, I lost sleep over that. Not only was it expensive, but it was also just like, this is a really cool gift my wife gave me. Well, girlfriend at the time. Um... And it's just like, oh, crap. I have to explain this. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out how it all goes together before I add any glue anywhere. Which way is it? Oh, it goes this way? Yeah, there you go. That fits together pretty good. Okay, yeah, sure. And then this goes here. Does this have like an, uh, oh, it's kind of got like a, a ridge edge so it clips in. Oh, that's really neat. Bro with a weird ass mouth. Oh. Oh. I mean, like, it's pretty easy to put these together. It's it's a little bit more advanced than Legos, but kinda. Yeah, he's kind of got the 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 poggers face. The new one, Squig Champ. Get that real close. Three D printed pog faces. I saw someone do a three D printed um, Rick and Morty Marines. 
So, like, when I think, like, 3D printed stuff, sometimes I think of that, you know? So that might be part of the reason I'm like, eh, you know? It kind of look like crap, too. It's just Rick's face. It's like a head swap you could do. I mean, that looks like a pretty solid model. Look at that. He's coming together pretty fast. All right, let's see. Boop, boop. Uh, 90 and 91. 90, where are you at? This is 91. Am I winning? I think so. I feel like it. They're really good about hiding seam lines with this. Uh, Warhammer 40k indeed, yeah. And then this is 90 here. Cool. Warhammer 40,000 is so good. Why isn't there a Warhammer 40,000 in one? Because uh, that would involve them advancing the plot at all. And if they did that, then someone would have to lose. That would mean someone's army is irrelevant. So they can't really advance the plot that much. It's kind of a funny little, like, issue with the, uh, the game design. Like, if one race entire, let's imagine, like, the Tau get entirely wiped out, then all Tau players basically don't get to play anymore. They don't have armies anymore. I mean, I guess they could do what they did to Fantasy and just have a conclusion, but... GW would squat Tau if they could. Would they? Aren't they their um, Overwatch sort of characters, you know? Not that they do Overwatch really well, but that, they, you know, like, they they make money just by existing because there's weird porn of them. That's you, you make money. I mean, but people are going to be like, hey, what is this? I feel like they'd get rid of Dark Eldar first. Uh, maybe. The, the Tau, the, um, the weeb people. They're like imperialist Japan. In space. With mind control. Don't the Tau go to extreme hell when they die? I don't know about that. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to eat after uh, this video gets done rendering. It's almost done. The Dark Eldar are more fun when we're talking porn. If you have fucking problems. Yeah. 
If you're into weird shit, yeah. Same with Slanesh. Do Chaos not, Chaos not care about Tau because they have no soul or just a really tiny one? Uh, I don't know. I don't actually know what Chaos and Tau do together. Tau and other armies, I really don't know what their interaction is outside of the Imperium. I know Death Guard met up with the Tau and they were like, what are these weird aliens? Like, the Tau thought they were aliens. That the Death Guard were just aliens. Like, they didn't. they don't believe in demons. They don't have any, like, psychic presence at all. So they, they're completely oblivious to anything that's going on as far as that goes. They're just kind of like, what? Death Guard are cool. They are. I mean, it's not like they're blunts. They could still be corrupted, but... Um, I guess just... Chaos doesn't care enough to try? But that would involve working with aliens. And the Imperium doesn't like to do that. That's bad. So how do you know where to put the legs? Put this guy's ass down. Okay, so he kind of, kind of fits in here, and then you fit the legs around him. I mean, Necrons could be good against. Um, demons and i think uh admec are actively searching out necron tech in order to figure out how it works i guess i could glue one of the legs on and then go bonk and then he'll sit in the right spot on the saddle maybe We're trying to figure out exactly where he goes. Is there a step I missed or something? No, he goes together and then he goes on there. And he just is on here. Huh. Okay. Well, looks like the video is done rendering or will be any second now. It took an hour and a half for it to do. I was trying to get it out before... Uh, before the one o'clock video went out, but uh, that didn't happen. So let's uh, get ready to upload a video. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and bounce so I can let this uh, upload happen a little faster. But I hope you enjoyed me just like screwing around with models. Uh, they look good, man. They look real good. That's an important thing. If you're playing with uh, orcs or just like Warhammer in general, You 100% at some point need to just go. We're going to crash. Like you have to. It's just a requirement of having these models. Like if you're going to spend this kind of money, you better be fucking doing this shit. 
and you're like, you know, when no one's watching, unlike here, um, because th then it's weird. You know what I mean? Warboss was trying to fall there. All right. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys uh, probably Monday, maybe a little late because the whole dentist appointment thing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.